That's right. Listen, I worked at Olive Garden. Did you know <laughs> that Olive Garden? I never saw this, so uh-huh. uh, you know who knows if this. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You know, I wouldn't testify in a court. But apparently, yes. Olive Garden sends uh-huh. everyone that, that are its like lead chefs to an academy, a, sh- a cooking academy I, I, right. in Italy. I've heard this. Tucked away on a hill in Italy is a place where the food is so good you could eat it for the rest of your life. The person who makes these wonderful dishes is Chef Neri, and we're pleased to tell you that now she's taught our Olive Garden chefs all the secrets of her famous chicken marsala, like how long to saute the chicken and fresh mushrooms, and how to turn rosemary and marsala wine into the Mm. perfect sauce, so they can make it for you tonight at Olive Garden. Olive Garden, when you're here, you're family. Now, I never saw Mm. that. (laughs) And yeah. our lead chef was definitely <laughs> from, like, possibly Tijuana. I think the only country he'd ever, like, traveled to was the U.S. Right. So. Is it possible illegally? that it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, they send the person who owns the franchise, like, they have to go for, like, a week or something to say that they did it? Or is it just total? I'm very curious. I don't know. They they Because I've heard that, they too. They do these. Yeah, they, do, they show these things, like. Our academy in Milan <laughs> it's like, teaches is... our chefs yeah. uh, the pairings of traditional Italian cuisine <laughs> with the... And then meanwhile, it's like, dude, the yeah. wine is just a... Yeah. Like a vat of fermented grape juice. <laughs> barely, like, just like so, so basic. Yep, yep. And then our the, our chef was l- like n- like literally an illegal immigrant from Mexico. Yeah, he was so dope. This yeah. guy. Yeah. He actually he he actually kept me. I will say I think he kept me alive. Kept you sane and alive. Wait, kept you alive? Yeah, what yeah. do you mean? Yeah, because he he would slide me. I didn't have like oh. there was there was like very little money. Yeah. To be had, and food. he would slide me. Um breadsticks and shit oh, when nice. I because it's a little hard the soup you can graze on the soup mm-hmm. but it's sort of out there people see if you're if you're eating stuff at ganking the soup mm. yeah ganking the soup is an incredible so. band name and or <laughs> ganking the soup fucking sick yeah so what was your stress so you would get what some bread like can you eat like you get a shift meal I'm assuming right so no. I would be like, his name was Jose, and I would be like, dude, Jose, hook me up. And he'd be like, I yeah. got you. And he would give me bread. He'd give uh, me, like, a boat of Alfredo. I'm living on, like, oh, just pure yeah. carbs. Yep. I've had, like, I mean, listen, I, I'll eat, uh, I've eaten Olive Garden occasionally. And listen, you know, it has its mer- Then sometimes I'll get it, and I'll be like, I'll have, like, a moment as I'm eating it. I'm like, this is, like, this feels like microwaved pasta. What was the prep like? Dude, what was the prep when I like? eat Olive Garden, like, much like, like the food critic in Ratatouille, yeah. when I bite into Olive yeah. Garden, yes. I am just transported onto <laughs> a gondola oh, in Venice. Yeah. Uh, yes. I remember. Hear the, the music. I remember. Yeah, like when my be, being raised by me. He's got a grenade. Run. Oh. Okay. You okay? Okay. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. When when my old Italy? my old Mamma Mia would raise me in the streets of Portobello. <laughs> Portobello, of course. God, it just it just snaps me back to the old snaps land. You back. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely worth trying. I mean, again, it's it's not to okay, call it Italian food is a re- is it's just you know it is what it is, but. As long as you know what you're going into, it's fine. Mm, a tomato. Oh, my God. A wild tomato. I'm going to mix mm. that into such a delicious <laughs> yeah. marinara sauce later. Oh, it's going to be so good. Yeah. Just like Papino used to make. <laughs> I don't Papino. know. Papino. <laughs> Olive Garden, it's like I have to be. Yeah, it's Again, it has a place in my. It just has a place. It has a place in my Americana food heart. Like, I'll always. You know, I don't get transported to Italy. I get transported to like, like as I'm eating the breadstick. I mean, but there is, there's just some, it, it's it's truly an American experience. 
Like, it's not, like, nobody would ever argue other than Sark, which I know you're very sincere that, like... You're eating good food. But that's fine. Oh, where I just it? don't feel like you are... Yeah, maybe, I'm just, I, I never worked there, though, you know? You know? The Amore. Yes, you know? yes. When the stick that's hits a... your eye... Oh, my God, God dude. <laughs> Hearing that shit oh, over and over. This is constantly play. Well, it's absolutely mind numbing. Absolutely awful.